Land Trust for Louisiana has been in the business of um, working with landowners for a decade and a half. Um, landowners who have properties uh, on rivers and lakes, landowners who own farms, um, landowners who like to hunt and fish. We work with a variety of landowners over a variety of properties across the state. Going on to Live Oak Plantation for the first time is an amazing experience. The live oaks overhanging the road and then you, you go out onto the property and just see these vast rice fields and wetlands. I knew immediately that this was an important place in Louisiana with a very rich history uh, and very important for hurricane protection and, and protecting farmers to allow them to keep farming. Growing rice is a, is, is a tough business and, and a lot of people have chosen to you know, go other directions with their land, especially in, in South Vermilion Parish where we've dealt with these storms year in, year out. Um, so you've seen a lot of these traditional rice farms converting to sugarcane or sadly housing developments and and that's uh, you know it's always sad to see but I mean I guess that's the reality of the world we live in today but uh, to be able to protect this land and hopefully other farmers can can do the same we're gonna have to preserve some of these farmlands for eternity. A conservation easement it's an agreement between you the landowner and the land trust for Louisiana it's basically a document that runs with the land that spells out what your wishes will be for future generations of that property. So when Land Trust for Louisiana sits down with a landowner to craft this conservation easement, as we call it, it's a very cooperative endeavor. We want to make sure that the landowner uh, is clear on what the future condition of that property needs to be. This really is a partnership between Land Trust for Louisiana and the landowner. I think one thing that made the easement so attractive to our family was that although we have perpetually protected Live Oak as, a, as an entity uh, and as a special place, we haven't lost the ability to sell the property. So although that's heartbreaking to think about in a lot of senses, I, I think it's important for people to understand that when you do this, you still own your land and you still have the ability to sell that land. Uh, and so uh, you know, you're, you're giving up some of your rights to develop the land, uh, but if you're a farmer and that's what you want to do the rest of your life, you're, you know, you're only protecting your livelihood. Giving land, uh, giving something that's a farm that's going to be there, that you know that's going to be there in the same condition that you leave it for generation after generation is one of the most uh, rewarding uh, experiences that you'll ever have. I think part of the reason that, that this project has, has kind of gotten our attention so much is that it allows us a way to, to hold on to this place and to protect it. We want a livable Louisiana, a place that thrives, a place we can sustain forever for future generations.